out. This guy is, is one of my favorite comics, and he's on Comedy Central, VH1, and everything, and he's got a, a film in the LA Comedy Short Festival swap. Please welcome Tom McCaffrey. Tom McCaffrey. <laughs> Now the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> but like, we're gonna do an hour and a half interview, and you're gonna come on for two minutes. Good luck. <laughs> so uh, I'll get right into it. Um, this, this show has to be over in 20 seconds. So. <laughs> I literally just ate up like one eighth of my time. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break some comedy ground here. Dating is fucking crazy, right? It's gonna be a great uh, dating a girl right now. Yeah, and uh, we do it like in the vagina and stuff. That's my fetish, everybody. Penis in the vagina. Uh, if you want to get me going, ladies, just put your vagina around my penis, right? Okay, cool. I literally said vagina and then looked right, locked eyes with you. I was like, cool, I wish I had done that. Uh, I'm dating a girl and we're doing this thing right now. You ever done this? We're making lists of celebrities that it's okay for us to have sex with um, if the opportunity arises. It's clearly a very healthy relationship. Um, I haven't finished my list yet because I've been too busy trying to get her sister and her best friend record deals. <laughs> So I'm producing a movie starring a girl I saw at the bank this morning. <laughs> She's like, I'm not even an actress. I'm like, shut up, you're gonna be a star. <laughs> Actually, David Cross and Amber Tamblyn are on my list. <laughs> so, glad you guys didn't leave. <laughs> Just wait till you see my fucking closer. <laughs> Got weirder than I needed to. Uh, uh, yeah, I called a friend of mine the other day, or a friend of mine called me, but whatever, I was high, something. Like, I was on the phone with my friend. And we started saying things. And, uh, this friend of mine's a dick, he invited me to his house, he said he was having a painting party. Do you, know, do you guys have ever been to a painting party? If you don't know what that is, it's basically you go to your friend's house and you paint their fucking house. <laughs> for free all night, right? And then when you're done painting all night, your friend gives you a beer and like some pizza, and now I'm supposed to be duped into thinking that I'm at a party. Not that I just came over and did chores around your house all night for free. This is a great party that I'm at, right? I'm gonna start doing that when I need shit done around my house, so I'm just gonna act like it's a party, right? Like I'll be like, hey, come over this Friday, I'm having a retile my bathroom party. Oh, and also you're not gonna wanna miss my drive me to the airport New Year's bash. BYOC. <laughs> you can drop me off, I'll throw an egg roll at your face. Right? You guys are good, but you stop laughing right away. Which is nice. You're like, haha, what else after that? Um, I uh, saw this commercial the other day, right? And, uh, all right, it's the only one on board so far. <laughs> so a commercial for this pill to treat PMS, and at the end of the commercial, they're like, uh, side effects include stomach pain, nausea, and irritability. <laughs> I was like, that just sounds like PMS again. Like, you can't do that. You can't come out with a pill to treat something, and then the side effects are just the exact thing again, right? That's like if I came out with a pill to treat herpes, and I was like, side effects include super herpes. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna do this last bit because uh, he wants to interview me for an hour. So. <laughs> I, uh, I have a niece who's four years old, right? Uh, she's actually nine now, but I wrote this a while ago. Uh, <laughs> I really didn't need to mention that. Uh, She's, I don't know if any of you have kids that are like around four years old or like have been around four year olds, but like they don't like know anything. When you're around them, they don't know shit. Like they don't come with any information. You have to explain everything in the fucking world. Like she'll be like, what's this? And I'm like, that's your fucking arm. Like, 
You don't know what an arm is? Like, what is wrong with you? But the other thing that sucks is, like, you also have to explain horrible shit in the world that doesn't really have a good explanation behind it. Like, we were in, like, a video store. Again, this is an old joke. Um, <laughs> We were in an a track store. No, we were, we, were in a, uh, we were in a blockbuster there still around, and uh, she saw the, the DVD for the movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> and she was like, what's this movie about? And I was like, oh, that's about this guy. He, uh, he like, kills people with a chainsaw. <laughs> and then he, like, takes off all their skin, and he eats their skin. <laughs> and he, like, hangs them on meat hooks. <laughs> She's like, doesn't that hurt the people? I'm like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I think it really hurts. Like, it's horrible. Like, when he puts them on the meat hooks, they're still alive. She's like, why does he do that to them? I'm like, I think he thinks it's funny that it hurts them. Like, he thinks it's cool or something. And then she was like, am I going to get killed with a chainsaw? I was like, I don't know, maybe. Like, I got to be honest, this does happen. But be careful out there. Thank you very much. You guys have been amazing.